Hello, this is Mohammed Abdel Fattah from the University of Toronto, and I'll be giving a short summary of our paper, Design and Applications for Embedded Networks on Chip on FPGAs. Let's start with the motivation. Modern FPGAs are big, and they're used to design big systems with high demand for on-chip communication. To implement this, we currently create a bus-based interconnect for each set of connections. However, this is becoming more difficult and problematic for the following reasons. First, we create these very wide buses, typically hundreds of bits wide, from the single bit programmable interconnect of the FPGA. There is an inherent inefficiency in doing that. Second, the physical size of these buses actually affects its performance. The longer a connection is, the slower its frequency will be. So we often have to go back and re-pipeline the buses to improve performance. This is a time-consuming and tedious process that hurts productivity. Finally, these buses are unique to each application. So when we design a new system, we have to go and implement and optimize a new set of buses for it. In our paper, we propose instead to provide native support for system-level interconnection on FPGAs. We propose prefabricating an embedded network on chip for that purpose. We are motivated by the fact that system-level interconnect is used in most important designs, so we might as well harden it and benefit from the efficiency gain. We also view NOCs as the complete interconnect. Not only do they include data transport, but also built-in switching and buffering resources, which are both required to meet the demands of large and important FPGA applications. The key thing here is that we embed the NOC in hard logic on the FPGA. This makes it very efficient, and it only takes about 2% of the, of the area of a large FPGA. Hardening also makes it very fast. It can run at 1.2 GHz on a 28 nanometer FPGA, while most FPGA designs can only reach about 300 MHz. So the first challenge here is, how do we connect FPGA designs with a variable width and frequency, and at the lower frequency of about 300 MHz, to an embedded network on chip with a fixed width and a very high frequency? To do this, we implement a component called the fabric port. Now, I like to use the analogy of a highway to represent the NOC. And in this analogy, the fabric port is the on-ramp that takes you from the regular, slow, city streets onto the very fast highway. We designed this important component using a combination of time domain multiplexing and asynchronous clock domain crossing. And the key thing that we achieve through the fabric port is flexibility. We can connect any design to the NOC. It can use any clock, that means any frequency. It can have any width, and it only needs to use a simple ready valid handshaking protocol to communicate through the NOC. The next part of our paper, we define some rules that are necessary for using an embedded NOC with FPGA design styles. In this section, we set rules for maintaining the correct packet ordering, for example. And we do this by restricting packets on the same connection to always use the same routing path and virtual channel. We also create rules to be able to use the NOC with latency guarantees, and other rules ensure deadlock freedom. Now that we've created the fabric port interface, and we define the rules to use NOCs on FPGAs, we explore a few important application case studies to investigate the benefits of using embedded NOCs with real applications. The first application is parallel JPEG compression. This is important for data centers, where companies like Facebook and Google typically need to compress millions of cat photos every day in, in different resolutions. The high-level result is that using the NOC can improve frequency by up to 80% in some cases. More importantly, no matter where modules are physically placed on the chip, whether they're far apart, like the slide shows, or if they're close together, the frequency, and therefore performance, only varies by 6% when we're using the NOC. 
Compare that to the bus version in which frequency varies by more than 60%. So this shows us that the NOC makes design frequency much better and much more predictable compared to buses. In the paper we also show that the NOC improves FPGA wiring utilization. Our second application case study is an Ethernet switch. Now these high bandwidth Ethernet switches have always been implemented using ASICs. In fact, the best previous FPGA switch supported only 160 gigabits per second. This is despite the fact that FPGA transceivers can transport more than 1 terabit per second on chip. Instead of using a large crossbar in Ethernet switches, we use our embedded NOC as the crossbar. Our switch provides a peak bandwidth of 819 gigabits per second, which is five times more switching than the previous best results. And it does that at half the latency and even three times less area utilization. This application case study shows that embedded NOCs can actually push FPGAs into an important market that is currently dominated by ASIC chips. In conclusion, we proposed adding an embedded NOC to FPGAs, provide native support, and implement system-level communication. We talked about the fabric port interface. We also talked about design rules to use NOCs in the context of FPGAs. And finally, we presented some application case studies. I hope that I have piqued your interest in reading our paper. Thank you.